online learning is a new challenge for teachers and students. So some art teachers at Brookfield Academy came up with a fun assignment called Tiny Art, Big Ideas. Art students were challenged to create art on a three by three post-it note. Elaine Buckley is one of the art teachers and she joins us to share some of these beautiful creations. Good morning to you, Elaine. Good morning to everyone. Thanks for joining us. We saw these pictures of the post-it notes and they are just absolutely stunning from all different ages and different capabilities. Talk a little bit about the theme that you chose and, and how this sort of came to be. Well, it's really funny. We're, you know, we're at home now. My husband and I are working out of our bedroom and we have three children. And while all of the, the big kids are working, my four-year-old has been running around leaving little post-it note artwork for everyone. And she just kind of walks around oh. and she, you know, puts it on your computer screen or on the wall next to your workspace. And, you know, we've been loving this because again, she doesn't have kind of that traditional school right now. So I thought, wow, how could I how could I bring that to my art curriculum? Um, and again, I've been trying to encourage myself and to encourage my students to really look at their interior and exterior spaces differently, right? We're all here at home and, and what can we do to be creative? So I brought this idea to our wonderful art staff um, during a meeting and said, what do you think about this? It's a simple idea. It's something that won't be overwhelming for our students. Hopefully, if they wanna make more than one, they could make more than one post-it note masterpiece. I love the notion that it's small, you know, that it's three by three inches. I think that that's um, a lovely canvas to kind of start your inspiration. So um, we agreed as a staff that we would um, take this on. And it was kind of a fun thing to say, um, look at a, a, just a mundane object, an office object and see what you can do with it. Yeah, and it's so, you mentioned inspired them. I mean, the art looks truly inspired, like award-winning, that one with the ripped page and you could see the piano keys. Um, I, I bet you're impressed with their work. Oh, I'm so impressed. Um, I think that's one of the things that I love about teaching so much, that the more exciting, you know, I think as an instructor you can be and the more passionate you can be, your, follow, your students will follow. And so it's been really fun to kind of, you know, give this challenge to my students and for all of our students really at Berkeley Academy, you know, K-3 all the way up to 12th grade and say, have fun with this, find passion with this. Um, and they meet us, which is really the wonderful thing about teaching. You know, you've got that passion and they meet us and they even exceed our expectations. So I absolutely agree. I'm so proud of our students. It's so cute. You, you ask them, you know, what motivates you uh, while school is closed? And it's cool to see what they were feeling, you know, and I think art, that's what it does for us, right? It, it, it allows us to express our feelings sometimes when words don't. And you saw I, a lot of that in those pictures. Oh, absolutely. And I was hoping, I was hopeful that this expression, this self-expression would come out with this challenge. And it absolutely did. And I know that, you know, everyone is at home experiencing different things, right? We're not at the same playing field. So my hope was that they could get lost in this small masterpiece, even if just for a few moments, it would bring some joy to them. And then ultimately some joy to our Brookfield Academy community and families, um, being able to share it with, with the group. Yeah, and what a great escape too, and to, to have something to kind of set your sights on, to have a purpose, because um, I think kids are really creative if we sort of give them the opportunity and, and maybe the idea, because that's something that people keep talking about is this newfound creativity through all of this. I know it's been really exciting for me as a teacher because when I thought, how am I, am I going to do this? I don't know if I can teach art remotely. I'm not, I'm not sure if this is going to work. So what I thought about is, okay, these students don't even have, some of these students don't have paints or brushes at home. How, how can we do this? So, you know, for example, one of my upper level AP art students didn't have canvases at home or had limited canvas canvases at home. And I said, what about asking your mom if you could make your next piece of art on a sliding glass door? So luckily mom said yes, which was great. Um, and this artist actually used her fingers in acrylic paint and made the most beautiful portrait on a large basement, like sliding glass door. Um, so really looking at those unconventional materials has, has been fun. Um, my artist had been painting with coffee, believe it or not, beet juice. Gorgeous paint with the juice. <laughs> um, turmeric. Turmeric is beautiful. Toothpaste, makeup. It's been really fun to say, okay, guys, I understand we don't have those fancy art 
supplies at home. It's okay. What are we going to do this this time together remotely? We we can be creative with what we have, and that's been so exciting as a teacher. I think that's so cool. And you guys put them all together in a video that people can kind of see as they flip through. I, I think it was probably a, a big surprise because you guys didn't plan on making this video. I, it seems like this sort of, you know, hit you directly in the heart and it, and it, it, it was something you needed to share. Absolutely. I thought, I thought everyone needed to see it. We needed to celebrate the hard work of our students, the creativity of our students. And thanks to some tech savvy people behind the curtain um, at work, we were able to kind of discuss how we wanted this to be displayed and we thought it would be really neat if it almost looked like it was on a wall and those post-it notes were being torn off the wall or kind of flipping through almost like a flip book. Um, so it was a real simple idea, but it was fun to figure out a way to execute that. Also like being creative, how can we show this to our community? That is so wonderful. Is there a way that people can check out all this art now and, and, and see it for themselves? Absolutely, on our um, Brookfield Academy website, everything should be posted. That is wonderful. I, I know you don't have much school left. I hope the rest of the year goes well for you. Thank you so much for sharing such a fun and creative project with us and our viewers. Thanks. Oh, you got Thank something you there, Tiff? <laughs> so thanks. I made you a post-it, Elaine. It's a cat that says thanks. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you so much. <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> Thank you so much, Elaine. Great talking to you. Stay well. Thanks, you too. And we have Bye. put a link to the entire video of the project on our website, themorningblend.com. So that's another way that you can go and check it out.